In this video, we will discuss about Ferzaghi's one-dimensional consolidation derivation. Before going into the derivation, we have to know what is consolidation. So, consolidation is nothing but a gradual process where the volume of soil will be reduced due to sustained static loading. <laughs> Now, this reduction in volume of saturated soil is only due to squeezing or expulsion of water from the soil. So here, if you observe the two pictures uh, before consolidation and after consolidation, so we have observed the change in volume of water. Okay. So due to change in volume of water, the entire volume of soil will be reduced. This procedure is nothing but consolidation. <laughs> now, coming to Terzaghi's one-dimensional consolidation derivation, <laughs> consider a clay layer of thickness HT and it is located between two highly permeable sand layers as shown. So before going into this, uh, let us discuss about the assumptions made in Terzaghi's one dimensional consolidation. Okay? The first assumption is Darcy fly is valid. And the second one is compression of soil layer is due to change in volume only and this change in volume is only due to squeezing out of water from white spaces and uh, other assumptions are clay layer is homogeneous and saturated the coefficient of consolidation C nu is constant during the consolidation coefficient of consolidation C nu is constant during the consolidation a deformation of soil occurs only in the direction of load application. Now coming to derivation portion, we have considered a clay layer of thickness HT between uh, two highly permeable sand layers. Uh, when the clay layer is subjected to an increase of vertical pressure, delta sigma, the pore water pressure at any point A will increase by U. Now, let us consider an elemental soil mass at A with volume dx, dy and dz. As in case of one dimensional consolidation, the flow of water in and out of soil element is in one direction only, which means here I have taken z direction and uh, that means the elements qx, qy, dqx and dqy are zero. So, the rate of flow in and out of soil element are qz and qz plus dqz. The rate of change of volume of soil element dou v by dou t is given by qz plus dqz minus qz. So that means dou v by dou t equal to dq z. q equal to k i a this dou v by dou t equal to k into dou square h by dou z square into dx dy dz where k is coefficient of permeability and h is u into 1 by gamma w where gamma w is unit weight of water. So that 
turns to be so dou v by dou t is nothing but k in place of h i have substituted u by gamma w so dou square u by dou z square into 1 by gamma w into dx dy dz and uh, from this k by gamma w into dou square u by dou z square equal to 1 by dx dy dz into dou v by dou t consider this as small a and uh, during consolidation the rate of change of volume is equal to change of void volume that is dou v by dou t equal to dou v v by dou t where this v v is volume of void in soil element and this vv equal to e into vs where vs is volume of solids which is constant and uh, e is void ratio so our dou v by dou t is uh, vs into dou e by dou t so that is v by 1 plus e into dou e by dou t so in place of v v i have written e into v s so again volume of solids is nothing but v by 1 plus e into dou e by dou t and uh, this v volume is dx dy dz divided by 1 plus e into dou e by dou t so consider this as equation b so now substituting equation b in equation a we have get k by gamma w into dou square u by dou z square equal to 1 by dx dy dz into in place of dou v by dou t i am writing equation b that is dx dy dz by 1 plus e into dou e by dou t so finally i have obtained k by gamma w into dou square u by dou z square equal to 1 by 1 plus e into dou e by dou t so where e is void ratio the change in void ratio dou e is due to increase of effective stress so assuming that dou e equal to minus av into do delta sigma dash where av is coefficient of compressibility so again this increase in a uh, effective stress do e is due to decrease of excess pore water pressure do u so do e equal to av into do u so in place of do e i may write av into do u so substituting do e in this equation i get k by gamma w into do square u by do z 
square equal to 1 by 1 plus e into a b into dou u by dou t. So that is nothing but k by gamma w into dou square u by dou z square equal to a v by a v by 1 plus e into dou u by dou t. So I have taken the below equation k by gamma w into dou square u by dou z square equal to a v by 1 plus e into dou u by dou t which I am rewriting as mv into dou u by dou t where mv is coefficient of volume compressibility so my above equation reduces to k by gamma w into dou square u by dou z square equal to mv into dou u by dou t or dou u by dou t equal to k by gamma w into mv into dou square u by dou z equal to c nu into dou square u by dou z square so c nu is nothing but k by gamma w into mv so this final equation dou u by dou t equal to c nu into dou square u by dou z square is the basic differential equation of Terzaghi's consolidation theory which can be solved with proper boundary condition okay